Okay, I believe the opportunity to come up also representing our last uh, presentation today, which is 420 Commercial Street, the uh, segue. Yes, thank you. Um, once again, for the record, for this petition, my name is uh, Dan Dondano, an attorney, uh, 62B Commercial Walk East, Boston, Mass, 02110. I actually represent um, not the Segway, but I represent the landowners of the property, the Laria family. And to my immediate left is Larry Laria, who's the son, and to his left is Adam Griffin, the son-in-law, who's married to Nicole Laria. And um, unfortunately, the Laria's come to here. Um, we've got good representation, and Joe, I believe everybody in this room may know Joe Caragall from the neighborhood. Uh, Joe Caragall is one of the individuals that manages a lot of the properties. This particular location is 420 Commercial Street. It's the, the former mobile gas station, which is at the corner of Hanover Street and Commercial Street. Right now, we have filed a petition with ISD. We have a hearing on March the 12th um, at City Hall to change the legal occupancy of the property. We're changing it from a gas station, parking lot, and offices to a parking lot, offices, Segway rentals, and retail for the Segway products that they have. Um, in the establishment. The reason for the change is back in 2011, our city council filed a city ordinance. It was signed, uh, was signed by Mayor Menino, which regulated the use of segways. In turn, the tenant of uh, Alan, uh, Dan, Alan Danley, who runs the Boston Gladys, and we received a violation. A violation that this was a, uh, a not comply with the use of the premises, so we need to remedy the violation. We have been issued a violation. We are in housing court. Housing court is helping us move along this the process. In turn, we needed to file the zoning application so we can be in compliance with the zoning. So that's what we've done. So nothing, no work is to be done on the property. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the, the segways, uh, although. I apologize, um, the attorney who represents the Boston Glides was supposed to be here tonight. Unfortunately, uh, there's a personal issue called me tonight, but before the company couldn't make it tonight, uh, and he apologizes. But a little about the segues, they operate uh, the rentals, it's mainly tours done by reservation. They're open from mid 9 in the morning to 5 p.m. I believe they close on Sundays. They are closed during the months of December to March 1st, March 1st. Uh, weather permitting, they'll open up through uh, to December. They actually have two routes, and I, Dave had mentioned routes, and I apologize, I was supposed to get Dave the routes in advance. The attorney was supposed to come here with me, and he was going to bring the routes so everybody can see them, but and I apologize for being here. But I'll explain. There are two routes. There are two tours. These, these routes have to be approved by the Boston Transportation Department. So before you can get approval for a route for segways, you have to uh, submit it to transportation the bottom. Right now there's two of them. There's an hour tour which stops at 420 Commercial Street, goes along Commercial Street, goes down to South Boston, stays along the waterfront, and comes back and comes back to 420 Commercial Street. But it doesn't go into the north end. This, that's a probably about a three and a half mile route. The second route is a little more than eight miles. It's a two hour tour. That begins at the same location. It goes down Commercial Street towards downtown up uh, through the financial center and it actually makes its way over to Cambridge and down into Charlestown area and back into Commercial Street on the outskirts. So nothing in, as I looked at the routes, and you can see the routes online if you go to Bar uh, Boston Gliders, you can look at the routes where they are. And it goes on the outskirts of um, back into <coughs> 4, 420 Commercial Street. Each Segway has to be licensed through the city of Boston. And each Segway operator who's working at the staff has to be licensed uh, through the city also. So, however, for our purposes in representing the landlord of the establishment, in order to remedy this violation that we've been given, we needed to change the use of the premises. Okay, do we have any abutters at 420? Um, All right, any questions, uh, Jason? What happens if the nine change? It's a, it's a good question. If we are denied the change, I assume at some point ISD can probably, uh, well, they are under lease, but I assume at some point ISD can probably deny them to operate. I'm hoping that's not the case. Other questions? 
Any um, one want to speak for or against this proposal? I think it's difficult to speak against. I mean, this is the main one, not necessarily the same way on them, which many people have issues with. So, I mean, but for the landlords, I think that's the thing. In the landlords, other than this particular property, and I know Jay, you know them, they, they own a number of other um, properties in the neighborhood, and they're very well maintained. Uh, Joe Caragel's always around, making sure that the property is uh, clean and professional looking and very well run. Bob, uh, what's your name? Yeah, Stoll from Commercial Street. I've seen these segways uh, on the waterfront of the parks. Right. We're not supposed to be a long walk park. On other parks and on the harbor walk. And I don't know how we can go here when we don't know the routes. Where are they? Just from what you say. You can't go to this. March 12th. Well, that's too bad. That's what. Can't I, I don't see why you, you, you can't vote. I mean, the roots, uh, as I said, I mean, number one, you can go online and look at it. But number two, I'm yeah. telling you, if they're on the outskirts, Commercial Street, and also, you're not allowed to be a city ordinance. You're not allowed to go on sidewalks. You're not allowed to go in certain areas. Now, but they do. Well, and, and, and I don't know, and, and I don't want to say anything whether it's, it's Boston Gliders or not. Other, we live on commercial street, we know. Yeah, and, and maybe, maybe it is, you know, and, 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 if he, and if he's doing it, then he should be violated. If he's not, because his route has to be approved by Boston Transportation. If he's not following his route, he should be violated. I, I mean, there's probably some of the kids, I mean, there's probably some of the kids that actually have to be violated. Yeah. Any other opinion for or against? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Uh, second? Second. Thank you, Dorothy. Okay, so support the vote to move out number three. Do you support? Right, and, and just, just if you don't mind, I apologize. And, and Adam brings up a good point. We were in operation, then the ordinance was, was passed. Um, so it puts us in a, in a tough position. So the ordinance was passed in 2011. He was on the so question about that. Did you come before this board when, you, when, when they opened the business and asked for community support? I don't know. Um, I don't represent Boston Gliders, but maybe. I just oh, it's, it's, it's a third location. Okay, but I, I mean, other locations are fine. I mean, the North North End is so tiny and. I mean, I'm actually myself, I'm a big fan of segways. Um, I really, I, I, I do like them, but in this neighborhood, they're horrible. Mm -hmm. the, the, they, the, they might have a set uh, route, but the, the operators, the guys, drive to it from work up and down the narrow street. Um, I've watched segways crash into cars, car cars, and people fall off the segways, and then just, the guys just step back on and, and ride away. Um, I don't feel this business is very responsible in how they operate in the neighborhoods. And unfortunately, the owner's not here to, to speak to that. Okay, now number three will be split the change in building to segway users at this projector. The vote is seven in support, 22 opposed. Seven, four, and two, five. So we're right. Yeah.